morning, Christine Jensen Sewing Friends. So today I want to take you through the, um, the A-line dress and I want to talk a little bit about some modifications that some of our members have been making and kind of set you up for one of our live videos that's upcoming. Now if you're uh, watching this on our blog, the live video will eventually be po posted right below this one on our blog. If you are um, watching this um, and you're going to be tuning into our live video, if you've seen our blog and you're going to be tuning into our live video um, next week in July, um, stay tuned because we're going to be covering some things about how to alter the pattern. So I'm going to apologize in advance. I'm going to zoom in here and show you this. I like to dye fabric. So excuse the Smurf fingers here. <laughs> They're a little crazy. So I just wanted to share that with you so you guys knew what was going on with my hands. It's not something really weird. My fingers are not super cold. It's just I like to dye fabric. So I want to show you a little bit about the A-line dress because a couple of our members have been making some mods to it. Um, and they've been posting it on the Christine Johnson Sewing Circle. If you're not a member of the Christine Johnson Sewing Circle, go to our page and on the left hand side in the menu you'll see groups. If you click on groups you can request to join the private sewing circle. So our members have been sharing some things and they asked me if I would make a couple of videos to talk about some of those alterations. So first I want to talk about the A-line dress in this format. Now you notice we have three A-line dresses on the ladies here. I'm going to step back so you can see this a little bit. I have three of them here. Two of them are long length. Now the original um, A-line dress pattern, 930, was a maxi length dress. And I have a sample here, one of our older samples that's been around a little while. Let me show you this. So this was a maxi length dress. Comes all the way down to the floor and has this inset. Now we updated this a couple of years back and we created our E930 pattern, which is a knee length version, which has a sleeveless version, but it also has the long sleeve or the three-quarter sleeve or even the cap sleeve um, that you can cut off. But it's basically the same dress. There were a few modifications made to the dress, but it's still got the same great A-line shape. Now what that means when you wear it, and, um, and we've shown it on all of the mannequins here, is this dress is fitted through the bust. You can see that right here on Isabel. This dress is fitted through the bust. And this one here also has the inset, but it's very subtle. It's actually um, a tone on tone, so it's not too over the top. Um, in the, the older sample that we have that's been around, hanging around a while, it's uh, definitely a, a big contrast. And of course, most of you have seen um, our A-line dress uh, sewing course on our blog. If you haven't, you can check it out, where I actually sew a short sleeve one with a bright red one with um, striped trim. So I, I cut out some stripes, so the stripes are actually in the inset, which is a lot of fun. And then there's a striped banded neckline as well, which is an addition. So you can check that out on our blog. We actually do have a, a little mini sewing course that you can follow through about four blogs with videos that shows you how to sew this dress. But what I really wanted to cover today was, um, was making some modifications to this dress to create this maxi version of the dress, as well as alter the neckline shape and bring the dress in at the sides. As you can see, this dress is, is not terribly loose here. This one's been brought in at the sides, but it's definitely got an A-line shape here. Um, and, and of course it absolutely does here in the one that we show here on the back where I actually have it bloused over a hip belt, okay, which is a really terrific look. So if you're looking for a little bit of a less fitted silhouette, definitely look at making the A-line dress. It's a little bit big for our mannequin here, but definitely look at making the A-line dress and then blousing it over a, a, a hip belt. This will pull the bottom of the dress up to about midi length, um, which is kind of a nice slouchy look. And this looks great with a jacket. Um, like maybe a short moto jacket, for example, um, and um, or even a shorter cropped canvas jacket, or um, you know, uh, load and or army green jacket, that sort of thing. Some sort of a, a canvas military style jacket would look really cute with this too. So, <clears throat> but our members have been asking us, hey, I want to go ahead and, and make like something that, that that they saw one of our other members do on, online. So I want to talk about two tools that you're going to need to do this. And then I will actually show you how to use this, um, how to alter the pattern in our live segment, which we'll post on the blog below this. So the first thing that you're gonna need is one of these, okay? This is a, um, called a very form curve rule. Many of you know it as, of it as a French curve. You're gonna need one of these, and you'll be using this to gently shape the side seam um, when we do it, okay? And then you're also gonna want one of these. This is a flexible curve. And the flexible curve, you can get these at any craft store. 
either one of these, but the flexible curve is this and allows you to move it around. This is what's gonna allow you to trace one side of a neckline that you really like from something in say ready to wear that you have in your closet. And this is what's gonna allow you to shape the side seam. You can also shape the side seam with this as well. Um, you know, kind of come in here and say, oh, okay, how do I want my side seam to look? And then lay it on the side of the dress. You can actually do that if you want to. You don't necessarily have to have both, but you should at least have this one because you're gonna need it. So um, I will be showing you this next week when we actually go through our video where we make the alterations to the pattern. But essentially what you're gonna do is you are going to lay this on one half of whatever t-shirt or garment that you like and you're essentially going to trace the shape with this. Now I recommend that you do this flat and not on your body because you'll get a better you get a better um, a better curve. You won't be holding this in midair trying to flatten it to yourself. Um, but definitely make sure that um, that when you do this that you fold your t-shirt in half um, or whatever you're going to be modeling and you lay this along whatever neckline you want to copy. Now in the example um, that that uh, some of our members posted online our uh, one of our Christine Johnson customers wanted a rounded V. So she wanted it to be a maxi dress with a nice rounded V neckline here and she said she had to work at it a couple times to get it correct and um, and so this would definitely streamline that by using one of these little things here because you could definitely come in and say okay I want my rounded V to look like that or I want it to be a scoop neck or I want it to you know a scoop neck or something like this. Now I'm actually gonna make the dress a little bit different. I'm gonna make the dress with a deep scoop in the back neckline and I'm going to leave the collar a little bit open in the front neckline. So I'm going to go with a slightly wider um, than jewel neck. So this is definitely a jewel neck on this dress. I'm going to go with a slightly wider than jewel neck, but maybe a little bit more like this. Slightly wider than the jewel neck. But in the back, and I'll show you this when I do this next week, in the back I want to come in with a nice deep scoop. And the reason why I want to do that is because I have purchased one of those bras that's all crochet in the back, that's like a, a racer back but all crochet. And I want to be able to show off that beautiful crochet bra in the back. It's very trendy right now to do that. It's uh, kind of a festival look, uh, festival vibe or boho vibe. Um, so it's very fashionable. So I'd like to actually do that. I'd like to actually showcase that um, beautiful crochet look in the back of, of, that, of that particular bra. So I'm going to actually come in here and I'm going to create a deep scoop um, neckline and I'm going to back neckline and I'm going to actually trace this off onto my pattern. Now the E930 is a digital pattern so you're going to be taping it together. Um, this one's not available in the A0 format or the copy shop format yet but we will be transferring that into the copy shop format. But in the A0 or in the in the um, tile version you just lay it all out on your table or up against your wall. We have some photos in our sewing circle of how one of our members does that against her window. I do it against my door wall. Um, she does it against her kitchen window and that's how her front window and that's how she um, is able to see all the lines and things of the pattern um, as she's taping it up. So once you have that and you put it together, the beautiful thing is you can just trace right on it and cut it off because it's a digital pattern. You can print another one. So um, feel free and you know with abandon um, make these changes. Now it's only when you get to your fabric that it's measure twice, cut once, right? Um, so definitely make sure that you like the shape that you're going to be tracing. So in my case, I'm going to be shaping this, sh tracing this deep U on the back. So this will be my center front line, and this will be my shoulder line. And I'm going to be tracing a deep U shape like this so that I can sew it. Now, the only tricky part is how are we going to seam finish this? Now, generally with um, what many Christine Johnson patterns, we have a lot of double layered things with uh, facings. And I'll talk a little bit about this week when I make pattern alterations, but I am definitely going to be making a full bodice facing. Not one of those little cheesy ones where you get just like a little bit of a facing here. I'm going to come all the way down into my garment and I am actually going to go ahead and create a facing from the shoulder to probably maybe just above the bust or just below the bust here, um, just above the waist. I'm going to be creating, creating a full facing. So all I have to do is serge those two pieces together, turn it inside out and, and um, press. Edge stitch, if, edge stitch if I want to. That way I'm not finishing any armholes and I'm not finishing that deep U neckline in the back. So for me, that's gonna be the best option. And again, I can do the same thing. It's a digital pattern. When I'm done cutting out the dress, I can just cut off the pattern where I don't need the bottom half of the dress. Um, and then I can cut out my facing and I'm done. And if I ever want those two to go back together, I can just take them back up. 
So it's pretty easy. I don't have to worry about altering my patterns because they're digital. I can just print a fresh copy every single time I want one. So um, that's the beautiful thing. So next week, well, I'm gonna show you how to create this neckline in our live video. And I'm also gonna show you how to taper in the waist to create a more fitted garment. And if you wanna check it out, go to Christine Johnson Patterns on Facebook. Request to join our CJ Patterns, our Christine Johnson Sewing Circle. And you will see the post in there that our member made when she altered her neckline to that V and she tapered the body to create a more fitted silhouette. Of course, you don't have to do a more fitted silhouette if you don't want to. If you just want to have a really cool neckline, you can do that and leave the A-line shape. The bust is fitted, so the, the dress will fit will fit fitted through the bust, but then it's going to open up from there on down. So if you want to just cover stuff up and not have any shaping or have a little bit of shaping, it's entirely up to you. So watch for that next week. We're going to be using one of these. And I'm going to be showing you how I draw it right on my pattern in our live video. So thanks for joining us today. And um, look forward to our live video or watch it on our blog. Thanks.